is better than well said. I'm Anthony and I'm going to take you through today's PF Go workout. We're going to start our warm up with a 600 meter run. That's about a three minute jog. Not too fast, not too slow. We just want to stay nice and steady. That's our target for the 600 meter jog. Now we're going to move on to 10 prisoner good mornings, 10 single leg blue bridges, and 10 ring rows. Here we go. Now for these prisoner good mornings, hands are behind the head. You're going to flare the elbows out and bow. Exactly like Greg is showing you right now. The knees are slightly bent, not too bent. You're going to send your butt back and you're going to leave your back in a nice strong arch. Now, from here we're going to lay down on the floor. We're going to squeeze our knees together and you're going to drive one leg straight. Now, in this position he's going to bridge up, pause, then go down and right back up again. We're going to do 10 on each leg then switch. So 10 plus 10 is what we're shooting for for this part. Now, ring rows, you can grab onto a pair of rings, lean back, pull to your chest, or you can do dumbbell bent over rows, but you guys know what those look like for today. Now we'll go through a second set of those before moving on to the strength. We have a lower body push-pull piece today. Now, every three minutes for four sets, you're gonna do two exercises. Exercise number one, eight single leg RDLs on each leg. Then we have 12 alternating Reverse, front foot elevated, dumbbell, goblet squats. Lots of letters here. Now, single arm dumbbell RDL. So we're gonna hold the dumbbell in the left hand. He's gonna stand on the right leg. He's gonna reach out towards the floor as his opposite leg goes up. So his left arm moves to the floor, his left leg moves up and away from the floor. Eight on one side, eight on the other, and then we'll switch. Now, you're gonna need a 45 pound plate or a 45 and a 25 to make it a little bit higher. Now, what this looks like is you're gonna step up onto that. You're gonna hold the dumbbell in the goblet position. You're gonna step back, tap your knee, and return to center, exactly. Then we're gonna switch. The goal here is to keep your chest up nice and tall. Can you give me a bad one where you drop your chest really far? So if that chest drops, the weight's a little bit too heavy on the way down or on the way up. So we want you to stay as tall as you can the entire time. Step back, tap your knee, come back into center. Now we have eight dumbbell RDLs on each leg and then six dumbbell, goblet, alternating, front foot, elevated, reverse, one piece. That's fun. All right, now our conditioning for today. Five rounds, four times. 12 deadlifts, 15 pull-ups, and a 200 meter run. Now, these deadlifts, we didn't do them in the warm-up, but we did these single leg deadlifts. So these are gonna be a little simple. You're gonna grab onto that dumbbell or that barbell. Shoulder blades pulled together. You're gonna ride that bar down the thighs and then it'll be very close to your knee. Good. You'll have plates on each side. The plates are about 10 inches off the ground. You'll gently tap the ground and come on right back up. The heaviest weight I wanna see in the gym today is 135 pounds. So everything should be relatively light. These 12, dumbbell, these 12 deadlifts should be done and broken every single time. Now pull-ups, keeping pull-ups, jumping pull-ups, banded pull-ups, that'd be great. We can also do ring rows or dumbbell bent over rows. The choice is yours. The goal here is to do the pull-ups in one set also. Then we have a nice, short 200 meter run. Shake those arms out, shake those legs out, and you'll feel nice and fresh. Five rounds, 12 unbroken deadlifts, 15 unbroken pull-ups, 200 meter run. I'd love to know how long it took you to do this workout. Let us know in the comments below. Have a great workout and a great rest of your day.